story for you tonight. A bear having to be removed from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park after it was getting too close and aggressive with visitors. Park officials receiving multiple calls in the last few days about a couple of bears looking for food near the Roaring Fork Motor Trail. WAT6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford talking with a park biologist and a witness who tells us why the bear needed to be relocated. I go up to the Roaring Fork area a lot to take photographs of bears, and when I went up there last evening, I noticed the ranger had one in the truck. Paulette Clotier taking these photos after rangers already captured the bear last night. The park supervisory wildlife biologist, Bill Stiver, saying the bear was what they called food conditioned. They were approaching vehicles, uh, which usually means they've gotten people's food and garbage at some point in the past. and are no longer afraid of people and, and approaching vehicles trying to get food. Stiver saying since the park reopened in May, rangers already responding to 11 bear and human interactions, five of those needing to be relocated. He says June is their busiest month when it comes to those human bear conflicts. It's just a difficult time. The berries are not ripe yet and bears have been out of hibernation for a few months and they're hungry. Relocating the bear isn't the first option rangers choose. Stiver saying it depends on the animals behavior. We would much rather deal with a bear early when it's moving around at night because it's still afraid of us and we can be pretty aggressive with that bear and you know they'll move on but once it starts walking up and down the side of the road approaching cars you know any kind of aversive type work really doesn't work that well. Stiver says to keep you and the bear safe you should properly store food out of a bear's reach. Keep your car doors locked, throw away food in a trash can or keep it in your locked vehicle. Cloutier saying that as a wildlife photographer, she knows how tempting it is getting closer to a bear and wanting to feed them. But if you do that, those bears won't be around anymore. There's enough bears in this park that you can safely observe them and photograph them. You don't need to be feeding them, baiting them, uh, crowding them in the woods, going after them. You know, the, the, you're in their home. And we have to respect that. Kirsty Crawford, WATE6, on your side. All right, Kirsty, thank you very much. Now, the bear has been relocated to the Cherokee National Forest. Park officials say if you see a bear getting close to humans or rummaging through the garbage, call the number that we have for you right now on your screen. It's 865-436-1230.